action. <laughs> We're here at the Los Angeles Dwell and Design Show. So we are dwelling here. I'm just gonna give a few tips. Cause I've been doing trade shows for uh, about 80 years. Dwell is kind of cool because uh, you meet very friendly hipster kind of people in LA. Whereas if you go on the East Coast, you're gonna run into some fuddy duds and you have to be very corporate kind of. So my tips are pretty much general for any trade show. One is you don't wanna go up to someone who's selling to uh, uh, somebody, right? Because I'm there selling, so I've got to be very uh, sensitive to that fact. And I wait till they're kind of not busy, or if you see uh, the owner talking with another person that works for them, then you can walk up. So that's one rule. Uh, another good tip would be, you want to leave them remembering you. So you want to try to get the conversation going where you can inject humor, or uh, you, you talk about things that they're interested in, you ask them a lot of questions, and then you kind of have an attitude of, uh, you wanna kind of give them good advice about whatever it is that they're doing. So it helps to kind of know their industry, like here it's furniture and things like that, which we at Universal Cargo are very experienced in furniture. Uh, another good tip would be, you want to uh, give them uh, uh, something to, to, that they need, like a pen or a tape measure. We found a very, everybody loves, they all say, you read my mind, I need a tape measure. I need a pen. And then you can say, hey, I'm the guy that gave you a tape measure. And you also want to have like something that they remember you by, like a really cool tie or a hat. Uh, and so they can go, oh yeah, I remember you. You were wearing that cool tie or hat. So these are all things you're just trying to get the ice broken and establish something where they remember you because the hard part starts when you have to call them up and do the follow-up right that's where the that's where the work gets done because you're trying to close it you're not going to close them there but you walk away with uh you know i don't know 30 50 leads you're going to get some business if you left them with a an imprint uh, uh, something that they can remember you by and that's all you're doing you're qualifying people to see if they need what you have and uh, try to write down as many notes as you can so that you can remember what they told you so you can follow up with it right away a week or two later. And um, another good thing about trade shows is if, you, if you're consistently going to the, the trade shows that happen again like six months later, because a lot of them are continuous, if you didn't quite get them on the phone, you can see them again six months later and say, hey, remember me, I saw you at the last show. And after a while, you're gonna wear them down and you're gonna get that business if you have what they need. So those are the tips. We have more for part two, which is coming later, but that's it, that's it for now.